Back now on Eyewitness News, former Pennsylvania Governor Ed Rendell says he has early stage Parkinson's disease. He revealed he's had the nervous system disorder for three years and is now being treated successfully. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl has more from the University of Pennsylvania. My shaking is much less than it was. Former Governor Ed Rendell says tremors and trouble with balance have stabilized since he was first diagnosed with Parkinson's disease three and a half years ago. What were your initial thoughts? Well, first I was stunned because I always thought of myself as indestructible. I've never missed a day of work. I've never been really sick. Parkinson's involves a loss of brain cells controlling movement. It can also cause cognitive changes, slowed speech and depression. It's progressive and there is no cure. Every patient is affected differently. Dr. Matthew Stern with Penn Medicine says Governor Rendell's early stage Parkinson's is being treated with standard medications to replace a deficiency of the brain chemical dopamine. The governor is really an inspiring example of what Parkinson's disease can look like today. He is active. We're going to do jab cross. -trip. Physical therapy is also a critical treatment for Parkinson's. Rendell, who's 74, has a regular workout schedule and says boxing is especially helpful. It hits a lot of points on something we call neuroplasticity, which means we're driving brain change. Governor Rendell also served as mayor of Philadelphia and district attorney. He says he finally agreed to reveal the diagnosis in hopes of helping others get early treatment. It's not a death sentence, Parkinson's disease. It doesn't have to affect the quality of your life. The governor says he's as busy as ever and doesn't suffer with other symptoms. Why'd you keep it a secret so long? Because I didn't want to admit that I was afflicted with a disease. And he says he's relieved that he did not deteriorate quickly like his mother, who also had Parkinson's. But the one thing is certain, the best chance you've got is to get in and get early treatment. Governor Rendell told me his trouble walking is related to bad knees, not the Parkinson's. While there is a genetic component, the cause is unknown. Two primary risk factors being a man over the age of 60. Parkinson's is more common in older men. I'm Stephanie Stahl, CBS3 Eyewitness News.